Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to find a transformation matrix to represent an enlargement centered at the origin. So there's three different examples we're going to look at and I'll timestamp each one of them below. And if this video is useful, then please do like and subscribe. Okay, so let's look at this first example here. So we need to find the matrix that represents an enlargement with a scale factor of four centered at the origin. And you can see here I've drawn on a unit square because I really want to emphasize how this works. So you can see here I've got my unit square. Well, if I was to enlarge this with a scale factor of four, well, the side lengths would go from being one to being four, and it's being enlarged about the origin or centered at the origin. So let's make this four times bigger. So that's twice as big, three times as big. It's now four times as big. Now, remember in the previous video, we said we could describe any sort of matrix transformation by looking at what happens to our i and j unit vectors or the points one, zero and the point zero, one. Well, the point one zero, hopefully you can see, look, it's moved from being at the point one zero to the point four zero. And so the first column of my transformation matrix is gonna be four zero. And my uh, J unit vector or the coordinate zero one, well, look, it's moved from being at obviously zero one to being at the point zero four. And so that will be my second column. And so the following matrix here, which we'll call M, represents an enlargement scale factor four centered at the origin. Okay, let's look at another example now. So here we need to find the matrix representing an enlargement scale factor two centered at the origin. And again, we could look at what happens to the I and J unit vectors. It's very similar to what we looked at here, except this time our I unit vector is not gonna go to four, it's just scale factor two, so it's gonna go to the point two and my j unit vector or the point zero one is gonna be doubled and it's gonna become the point zero two. And so my transformation matrix is gonna be two zero, zero two. And we could now extend this idea, okay, for any sort of uh, enlargement centered at the origin with a scale factor k, okay? So we need to find the matrix representing an enlargement with scale factor k centered at the origin. Well, let's just look back. When it was a scale factor of four, look, we had four, zero, zero, four. When it was a scale factor of two, we had two, zero, zero, two. And so if it's gonna be a, a scale factor K, well, our point one, zero is just gonna to move to some point K zero. And our point zero, one is just gonna to move to some generic point zero K. And so our transformation matrix is gonna be K zero, zero K, where K is the scale factor. And so we can represent any enlargement scale factor k centered at the origin by the following matrix. Hopefully this video was useful. If it was, please do like and subscribe uh, and go over to my channel for tons of other math tutorials. Thanks for watching.